I know you're asking, what is it? Well, this is going to be, if you imagine it this way, with slats going across, this is going to be the side bed frame. Now, I don't think I've seen anyone do it like this before. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying this is stronger. In my brain, it's going to be stronger. Let's face it. I'm not the smallest of people. Anyway, let's not get into that. My idea with the bed frame is to put two of these on each wall. Screw them into the main beam that runs down, which is this big thick beam here, we can riv nut into there and then basically through the holes I've done in the wood, bolt it to the sides and it should be, by my thinking, with one, two, three, four, seven M10 riv nuts and bolts should be well secure to hold probably a couple of me on the bed. Now the frame is going to sit round about there, just like that. It's then going to have the slats going over to the identical frame, which is on the other side of the wall. But I've already done that one. Got carried away, didn't I? So now this one is on the side. It's got M10 bolts. We're missing two there because we need to ply up there first before we can cut it. But the slats will go in there and they will run right across to the other side and slat in there. Unsure whether we need a middle brace or not. I don't think we will. I think with that many 3B2s and ply on top, it should be plenty strong for a couple of big boys. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we need to get the same one of these in on the other side. Also taking into consideration that there's a load of cables in the trunk. And this could go absolutely swimmingly, fantastically great, or it could be a total disaster. But it's just going to need time, patience, steady drilling, and just go through a little bit at a time. You don't need to go right the way through with the drill, because if you do, there is a chance that you might possibly destroy a cable. Then the whole wall's going to come off. Got to do the cable. It's a bloody nightmare. Anyway, I've marked the holes where we need to drill through. What we're going to do first is we're going to drill a bigger hole and then we'll be able to see the inside where the metal is and go through with the drill bit nice and steady hopefully not punching all the way through just nipping through the actual skin of the metal fingers crossed wish me luck if things start flying and things start going wrong this video might never come out right first of all what i'm going to do is the marvin holes that i've made from the actual piece that i held up I've marked them in the ply. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut out around here just so we can get in with a riv nut and we've got enough space to see the actual metal behind it and see what's going on and we can gauge how much we're going through with the drill bit so we just don't go right the way through and potentially go into any cables that are hanging behind here because all these sort of run down here. I'm pretty sure that the N3 will be safe to just go through. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it properly. And I want to make sure that they're safe and sound. So first of all, I'm just going to make another little indent in there. So we know where the center is for when we put the riv nut in. So we need to take this out first. And put the bigger one in. We haven't even touched one cable. Thank you, whoever I'm praying to. Anyway, right. <clears throat> now we need to get around there because we need to get in there with a riv nut. So we do need to take a section of this out. It doesn't need to be this big, but I've really got no smaller. I might have. Let me, let me go and look and I'll be back. Got one, a smaller one. This was given to me by my friend Andy B. Nice one, Andy. This has saved my life. Right, so. Now we can just go basically around this hole. It's going to be a bit janky to get going. But once we've got it going, 
which will give us enough real estate around there to get in to have a real good look in there see where the cables are and then get a rivnut in there right that's our holes cut so what we need to do now is we need to fix a rivnut in there so we can then bolt through the actual bed frame and bolt it into position all the way along there that one i'm not too worried about because it's getting a big piece of wood that's going to be covering it so it doesn't really matter aesthetically i don't really care because it's going to have a bed frame over it then this lower part is going to be the garage but i'm just glad we didn't come into any problems with any cables you know you can see or you can't see but i can see in there that there's no cables behind there whatsoever same as that one and the same with that one as well so we need to get rib nuts in all these and go from there right so in the holes we're going to be putting these fellas they're called rib nuts and it'll allow us to put a bolt in and keep it nice and secure nice and fastened and all safe and sound so we need to get these fellas in the way we put these in you've seen me use one of these before this basically screws on the end and then when you pull the legs back what it does is it squishes this and it collapses it on itself inside the metal making a nice strong seal And there we go, all the riv nuts are in. That should now, fingers crossed, be safe enough to fit the bed frame. So let's get the bolt out, get some washers out, let's get it bolted up. Right, so also we're gonna be sticking some big chunky boy washers on there to go through the wood, just because we give a bigger surface place for that to get a grip of and keep that wood nice and tight to the bulk. The bulk to the side wall forget it right let's get this up should really have a helper but they vanished right so now i've got both sides of the bed frame up what we can do now is take some of these slats And we got ourselves a bed frame. Right, now we just need to cut some more slats and get them in. Now you tell me that's not going to be strong enough. Even my ass will get on there. Right, I'll put a temporary bit of ply up. Mm. Let's give it a go. That'll do for me. Look out the window, breeze in the fan. Ah, oh. It's a winner winner chicken dinner. So that is one bed frame done. All you're going to do now is basically get the ply, put the ply on top, which is easy, but we're getting the mattress cut to size as well so the mattress will fit straight on there four inch mattress which will bring it up to about here then the face board on then i can do all the inside of the garage i can start doing the wiring now i can start putting everything sort of into place in the garage and that will do me strong enough for me and emma and 
we could have a party on it. Easy. So don't forget, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Also, a big, massive, huge hello and welcome to the Urban Explorer family too. Our very first channel member, Amos. My good friend from over where it's lovely and sunny and warm and just a nicer place in general. Amos, thank you very much. Don't forget you can join the channel membership and support us building this whole thing and being lunatics, really. So that's the bed done. Go get a van, go build something, get out the house and do something. See you soon. Whatever you do, do it well.